Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OC video. Today we are going to look at my top 10 trucks of the decade. Well, welcome back everyone. Today is a very, very special video. This is one that I likely won't even be making in the next decade because it's, I don't know where I'll be at the time and what I'll be doing, but this is a very unique time that we're in with not only diecast, but also in history itself. We're given this, again, unique time to do a decade review of our own hobby, which is the Monster Jam diecast world. Uh, I guess actually you could say now monster truck diecast world because there's many different things happening in it. But I was told by my friend Phil, uh, who is the admin of the Monster Truck Collecting Facebook group, he told me, or nominated me, I guess you could say, to do the top 10 trucks of the decade. He wanted me to be fair to all the different lines alike uh, in the 164 scale world, omitting green light though, because I don't have many green lights. Uh, so I have narrowed down my top 10 of the decade there are no honorable mentions. These are the most accurate, best presented, best ideas, best built, all of this factors in for my nominations here today. Also, I wanna note that there are four different diecast company lines happening here. We have Hot Wheels Monster Jam, which uh, from 2010 to 2019, or I guess you could say 2018 because it did finish off in 2018. So 2010, 2018, I only have two of them in this video. I also have one Matchbox Monster Trucks, and then I also have one Hot Wheels Moss Trucks and then five because I just honestly, it's hard to look back and see things when they've already been corrected by Spin Master. We have five Spin Master Trucks, which I think are the best of the decade, uh, even though they only had a year in this decade so far or at, at all because it's 2019, 2020 next year. Uh, they, they really pushed hard this year, but they did get a lot of uh, recognition for me uh, in my old collecting viewpoint. This is not a biased viewpoint. This is actually looking at it as a collector, as someone who used to criticize these uh, products for inaccuracies. This is how I'm looking at it today. So at number 10, we have Hot Wheels Monster Jam's Exterminator. Uh, also, these are not going by rarity at all. Uh, these are just because of accuracy, like I said, and all these different things. So number 10 is the Exterminator by Hot Wheels Monster Jam. Although it was only released outside of the United States, it still has one of the most accurate paint jobs that Mattel was able to produce during their time. There are a few things about it that aren't perfect to the real truck, but for what it is and the decos and all the stuff that it features, it really is a really great piece. And I don't know if we'll be seeing this in the future from Spin Master. So if this is the last time we'll ever see it and only time, I want to definitely nominate it for the top 10 truck of the decade because it does deserve that recognition for being one of the only ones ever produced so far. And it, it really is cool. It's one you don't see very often and I like how they did it and I'm very happy with it. So Exterminator is number 10 on the top 10 trucks of the decade. And at number nine, this will shock you, I'm sure. And it's funny how it has a nine on it. Uh, it is the Matchbox Monster Trucks Trash Truck. I don't remember the actual name for this truck, but this is one of the Matchbox Monster Trucks that they produced in, I believe it was 2016. I could be way far off with that, but they had a very short amount of trucks that they produced from the Matchbox series. Matchbox is owned by Mattel, so they use the same tires and rims as Hot Wheels Moss Jam did. So I did collect all of them during the time. They're actually really cool pieces. They have functioning uh, actual mechanics on them, so that's really cool. But if you guys remember this, and this is really far back in time, if you guys have watched my channel for a while, you know that I've always wanted a trash truck monster truck. And also, I've heard this you know, told to me in my comments and also kids around all want trash truck monster trucks. So when they produced this, I was like, this is awesome. It's actually one of my favorite trucks in my collection. So number nine produced during this decade is the Trash Truck Monster Truck by Matchbox. Again, one of the coolest concepts. Spin Master needs to hop on this with Monster Jam. They really got to produce one. Uh, I know they can do an awesome job, I'm sure with some cool decos as well. But for what this is, it is a Trash Truck Monster Truck. I mean, here it is for the first time and only time ever, an actual front loader garbage truck. So number nine out of the entire decade is the Matchbox Monster Trucks trash truck. And at number eight, it is the Hot Wheels 68 body for the 19th World Finals. 
This truck actually is very accurate to how the real truck looked. It's one of the only models that Mattel really got perfect. Uh, it's Although there is an inaccuracy in the grill, they did not do the correct grill printing. Uh, for the entire casting itself, it is for the most part, exactly how the real truck looked like. People were actually surprised that they made this body in real life because it's kind of an intricate looking body, but they did. Uh, it was awesome. It really was a great looking truck and they did a great job with their die cast vehicle of it. They did a Golden Machines one as well. And there's not much to complain about. Honestly, it's a really great truck. So uh, number eight on my list is the Hot Wheels 68 World Finals 19 paint scheme. And at number seven, we have Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Demo Derby. I am not the biggest fan of the Hot Wheels Moss Trex line so far, uh, and there are very few that I really, really like. Uh, V8 Bomber was in the running for this list. It did not make it, though, after I factored in other trucks, but Demo Derby is still one of my favorites, if not the best and my favorite of the entire line so far because of how accurate it is. They did an amazing job getting the tires printed on like the real truck, the front tire as well. The body itself, the paint scheme is perfect. Uh, they did not do the grill printing like the real trucks, but this is the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Demo Derby. They did an amazing job with the actual decos, with the paint on the tires, and I'm really happy with this piece. It's one of the best ones they've produced so far. And now we enter the realm of Spin Master. At number six, we have the Nomad Avenger. For the first year, they went all out, putting out everything they could to make this line much better than the previous years. So. Avenger, Nomad, World Finals 19 paint scheme, they actually did get it done in their first year. The only thing I complained about with this truck is the fact that they took off the hood printing. That really should have stayed on. They should have pushed harder for that to stay on. Uh, that's why this is number six. If this had the actual printing on the hood, it would be number two on my list. So that's how far down it dropped because of that. But besides that little detail, uh, I guess not little, but that, that detail, the rest of the truck itself, the casting overall is amazing. They did go all out. I mean, it really truly is the <laughs> one of the best ones of the decade. Uh, I am really happy with how they've taken this uh, concept and pushed it forward into uh, micro scale. So here is the Nomad Avenger number six on my top 10 trucks of the decade. And this one might also be a shocker. Number five, the Monster Mutt Husky, a concept that came out of nowhere just at the end of 2019 and is now one of my favorites of all time. It, it really is a beautiful truck. They took a Monster Mutt casting and they reformed it with new ears and a tail to completely change a dog's personality and produce a new breed of dog that they have never done for Monster Mutt. So Monster Mutt Husky, the paint on the tail, I love how it's a gradient from gray to white. I love the shape of the tail as well. It looks just like a real Husky. The ears also going from, instead of the laying down ears like the typical Monster Mutts have, they actually went up with the vertical ear dogs. There are a lot of them. So just a great concept. I really think it should become a real truck. Uh, I would love to see this thing on the circuit. So number five, Monster Mutt Husky in the top 10 trucks of the decade. And at number four, there is no doubt that Mystery Machine deserves some recognition here. The Mystery Machine was a surprise concept by Monster Mutt and Spin Master. They produced it with Scooby-Doo, which also just fell short of the top 10 trucks of the decade because of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks. You will likely see that one return in my top 10 Spin Master Trucks of the year, but this is the Mystery Machine and they did a giant casting. It looks just like the real truck in the cartoon. Uh, I am more than thrilled over the fact that they made this in the first year and the fact that they didn't use an SUV tool and they actually went for a full giant new casting. It's a really, it's actually the heaviest truck of the year. And yes, this thing is just, just amazing. I really am happy with it. This is just one of the best things they've done. So thank you for this one. This is really uh, a, a really special gift for this year, the first year and unexpected completely. So Scooby-Doo finally has the mystery machine alongside it and I am really happy with it. So number four on the top 10 trucks of the decade. And now we enter the top three. These were difficult choices to sort out, but the third top truck of the decade is the Cyclops. Cyclops features for the first time its accurate casting to the real life truck that's currently running. It has the eyeball in the hood here sticking out. So you can see they did an entirely new casting, grill printing, everything on here just to get this truck as accurate as possible. It has the eyeball, it has the silver roll cage, gray rims, and just overall, just an amazing truck. I still can't believe they got this done. And at number two, these were hard choices to pick, but Big Kahuna made it up in the top three of the decade with this casting. This was insane. So 
When Spin Master first announced and Shane England hinted at Big Kahuna being made, we were all wondering if they were gonna do a normal pickup truck like Mattel did, or if they were actually gonna go for the full casting. And it turns out, to our complete surprise, they did not only the accurate C10 casting, but also the dual surfboards on the back for Shane England. He requested them, they said, sure, we'll do them, and they did them. The truck itself is just a beautiful piece. I have no complaints about Big Kahuna. I am more than thrilled that they got this done. Again, in their first year with the dual surfboards, with the accurate casting, and it is my second favorite truck of the decade. So Big Kahuna by Spin Master is number two. Number one goes to Grandma Gravedigger. Grandma Gravedigger embodies the entire vision of Spin Master Monster Jam. Accuracy, getting it done right, fixing errors, looking at inaccuracies, looking at accuracies, and getting all of those things packaged into one single micro scale die cast. This thing is a beauty. I really can't imagine other people disagreeing with this being so high up here because not only did they go all out with this one, they also, I just can't believe it. They also got the back doors on there. It was hand done by the design team, completely reconstructed in Photoshop to be just for this die cast truck. They also have zoomies coming out of the sides. They have the retro tires, uh, everything, the casting itself, accurate to the real life truck. I am thrilled again with this pack. I'm thrilled with this truck. And I definitely think it deserves number one on the top 10 of the entire decade. There is nothing else that stands in its way. I think that this, again, is truly the vision of Spin Master right here in a single truck. But we also have seen this throughout the year. So congratulations to the design team on this one. This is the top truck of the decade. From 2010 to 2019, this has been the most detailed, the most accurate, the best looking truck of the decade. And it was hard getting to this point, but trust me, I think that this one deserves it. So if you guys don't agree with my list in the comments, please leave your own decade list in the comments below. I try to be as fair as possible, but there's just so many things that Spin Master did that are just so much more than others. I thought that they deserved more, but you guys can leave your own list in the comments below. Let me know if you guys disagree. Let me know if you guys wanted more Hot Wheels on this list. I, again, try to be balanced, but there is just this, when there's something like this in your way, it's really hard to choose. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. And until then, this is Rhino Monster Mo CD, signing out.